here we have 125% and we're converting it to a fraction. So anytime I have a percent, we're going to take the percent and when we're converting it to a fraction, we're putting it over 100 because again, a percent means per 100. So now I have 125 over 100. So what I need to do is simplify. Okay, so I look, I know 5 goes into the, both of those. So let's see, 5 goes into 125, 5 times. 5 goes into 100, 20 times. Okay, but I'm still not simplified all the way. I have 25 over 20 now. Okay, another 5. 5 goes into 25, 5 times. 5 goes into 20, 4 times. Now I'm all the way to the end where I can't simplify any farther, and I get 5 over 4. Now from the very beginning, if I started at 125 over 100, I could have simplified by 25 and got to 5 over 4. If you don't see the largest thing to simplify, just keep going all the way until you get the very end where you cannot simplify any longer. So our answer will always be in this case, if I have 125%, it will be 5 over 4 as a fraction.